Hey everyone, it's Yuka here. Today I want to unbox something really special and I'm really excited about it. It's the new Wireless Go uh, microphone system from Rode. And this was announced at NAB, which I didn't get to go, but I saw this everywhere and, and I immediately knew this was the one I was looking for. Last month when I went to the Apple event, I rented the Sennheiser AVX microphone system, which is like, $700, $800, like really expensive system. It worked well, except for the fact that I messed up the, the audio splitting system, which I also got the right one here. Um, I got the Hosa Technology Stereo Breakout Cable, and I will link it for sure in the description. So now I finally have the right cables and an amazing, compact, super, inexpensive, like this set is $200 compared to the 800 from Sennheiser. Um, and I cannot wait to test this out. Right now you're listening to me via the in-camera microphone, which may not be great. I've been using this Shure VP83 shotgun mic for a while now, and it's been working great. But in my recent videos, I noticed that I I'm getting some like static sounds. I don't know if it's like the batteries or what's happening. So I just decided to do this portion of the video without any microphones. Let's just open this up and see what's inside. I just cannot believe how tiny this is. So apparently it's the world's smallest wireless microphone system as of today. So now the box is open. Um, there is like a quick start guide and whoa it's so small so these are the transmitter and the microphone itself oh my god it's so small wow thumbnail <laughs> so here's the transmitter which has the microphone and here's the receiver that you attach to the camera to receive the audio. Um, it comes with a bunch of cables, so this also charges with USB-C, which is so awesome, I love it. Oh, it comes with two USB-C cables. That's nice. Never, oof. <laughs> yeah, you can never have enough USB-C cables. And then inside this other box is two wind jammers. You might lose it, so there's an extra pair. Cables that attached to your camera and the receiver. Oh, and a nice little case that's like, I guess it's like microfiber, neoprene type of fabric. You can take this on the go. Wow. Can you believe it fits in here? Let's just start recording with this. Um, I will switch the audio right now. All right, so I switched the mic to the Rode Wireless Go. Um, it is attached inside right here. Yeah, it's pretty discreet. Um, and it has a little clip, but the receiver is so small, I just cannot handle. <laughs> um, let me show you how small it is. All right, so I've attached the windscreen and using it outside of my shirt for now. Um, you can definitely clip it inside. It might not work as well if you're wearing a t-shirt. It's a little heavy, heavy on the cloth. But how does it sound? Um, I can definitely move around, go a little bit further than usual um, or closer. And it doesn't change, of course, because I'm using this mic, which is basically attached to my body. But I definitely want to show you the other side, the transmitter part, because that part is so... Genius. You can see that it is sitting right on top here. It's so tiny and incredible. On top of here, you have a little screen where you can see the gains, the battery life, and the connectivity. There's an audio jack here that connects to your camera here. Um, and it's so small, it's unbelievable. Another amazing feature is that you can take Let's take this off. The mount here is actually like a clip. And so you can clip it on to anywhere. Like if you have a camera bag or 
anywhere that's convenient for your audio recording setup. Um, but if you have a camera like this and you want to set it up on your camera, you can attach it on the cold shoe mount like this. So basically the clip size is exactly the same as the cold shoe mount insert. So it just fits perfectly in here. Just love it so much. I think it's so genius. So that's basically the unboxing part. I do want to go outside and shoot so we can kind of put it to the test um, for vlogging and all that kind of stuff. The setup was super easy. I basically just took it out of the box and attached it to my camera and my, myself and just started recording and it just works seamlessly and I am so in love with it already. Uh, but we do have to go test it out in the wild. The next day. Hey, so I'm vlogging the day on our way to drop off Pino for daycare. And today is not like a super eventful day, but I think it'll be fun to just test out the mic in various different environment and conditions and see how it does. Pino got a new harness. Um, we have the gentle leader, but <laughs> we are now trying a chest strap. I think it's working pretty well, although the chest strap itself is pretty heavy. Um, I wish you could see, but he's so furry right now. work but the caltrain is coming so loud oh my god all right are these flowers it is everywhere it's kind of scary when there's like so much morning bye bye Nina bye oh is how you commute in San Francisco. <laughs> a dress, one wheel, not one wheel. I don't know what they're called. And a coffee. Should this be a thing? Vlogging from really far. Vlogging from afar. <laughs> right now there's huge truck. It's very loud. Hope you can hear me. But um, it's so hot here in San Francisco. It's 19 degrees Celsius, like 77 Fahrenheit feels much hotter. Um, I definitely need an ice latte. Can I have a medium ice latte, please? Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, I'm back with a latte. They only have um, paper straws now because of the environment. But it does get soggy. <laughs> now that I'm back, um, for the rest of the morning, I'm just gonna work on some videos and yeah, and then make some lunch. Um, so I'll just start the time lapse. So it's now lunchtime, and I think I'm gonna make like a quick salad and I have some like leftovers from last night so I think I'll just heat that up like freelance life <laughs> I don't know if people think freelancing is like super glamorous but I have definitely had much more glamorous stuff happen at work than at home um, but I really like being freelance. It's just, it is sometimes less stress, but then there's like a new type of stress where everything that happens is like up to you. It's great being in control of your schedule and, um, and your mood too. Like, I guess it took me like a couple of months to adjust and like figure out what I want to do. But once I've kind of like decided that I will be giving freelance content creator a, a chance I think that just kind of got the ball rolling and I'm really enjoying it so far I 
I'm gonna try getting the sizzle. Lunch was so good. I'm kind of getting food coma, but um, I need to power through it. Another thing that I wanted to mention about this is that um, this transmitter has a microphone attached, but there is also a microphone jack. So you can have something like this, like a lavalier, like use a different microphone. All right, time to go get Pino again. <laughs> again, it's so loud here. Also, this blue bike is brutal. I need my black electric bikes. <gasps> Hi! Hey! Thanks. Yeah. Let's go home. <laughs> Come on! You don't want to go? Come on, Pino. Chatta. Oh my goodness, it's so hot. I have to get ready soon to go to dinner. But first, snuggles. You're crazy. You know. home from dinner and I had a really good time with my former colleagues. This concludes the kind of like the vlog review video for the Rode Wireless Go. I hope this was helpful for you in getting to know the new mic system from Rode. Um, I really really like this. It's just so small and you can't really beat that and the price is also really good it's 200 dollars, so it's not like cheap it definitely has great value um, and if you look at all the other competitions and you know the similar lines of products that different companies have um, i think it's a really really great option that's basically it let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next video bye